No, no, no. He clearly left. Me yeah, he didn't say Jason. Yeah. But I won't take credit where credit isn't due. But he was basically reiterating what Greg said during the call, which was, "I did give you the out. I the news reported it. You turned that down, and now six weeks later, you're saying." It's okay. Yeah, because Greg hasn't let it go for six weeks. You know, now six weeks later, letting him write up the ramp doesn't seem like that big of a deal. So six you, weeks ago, I think Howard was still looking for the, just let me off this task, let me free from this whole entire burden. That That's what I took from it. I think Jason's about right. I think there was a point where <laughs> Howard was hoping Greg would just say, ah, I'm going to let him be. Hoping, he was begging him on the air, Greg, please let me out of this. And well, Greg just refused. And it's not that Greg couldn't take a hint because it wasn't a hint. Greg refused to let Howard out of it. But why can't Howard, and he, I guess he did do this by the end of that phone call, or ISDN connection, but why can't Howard just say, you know what, I can't do this, and say no to Greg? He didn't say it at first, right. but there's nothing stopping Howard from changing yeah. his mind, Howard, not waiting for permission from Greg, but just saying, look, I know, I know I told you I would do this. I tried. It's just not happening. I'm sorry. Why can't Howard say something like that? Because I don't think you. Because it sounds to me, and he said it, he doesn't want to be the bad guy, and he hates saying no to people because he said he doesn't like being said no to. He doesn't want to be that guy that says no. But, you know, there's certain things you know about your friends or people you know, and you know what I mean? Like, you could tell, and he said it over and over again, he didn't want to do it, and, you know. No, I understand yeah. your point that if, if Howard is Greg's mentor, he should know. Instantly, he should know. One, there's nothing wrong with asking, but right. the second Howard reacts the way he did, you pull the offer right off the table. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's because I think it's because it's Howard directly on the air. I think if Greg Fitzsimmons had put his request through Howard's agent, let's say, then they'll probably would have come down silently. Now, does Greg mistake the bonding that's occurred between him and Howard? Because it seems like he, Greg's like, oh, I taught you how to play something like guitar at the party. Howard's like, I don't even remember you being at the party. Well, Howard said they had no bond, and Greg said they did have a bond, so clearly there's a miscommunication. Yeah, but where do you think, I mean, Gary, that happened, does that happen a lot with Howard? People think they're a little closer with him than they actually are? Well, I'll tell you where it really happens a lot is, um, you know, somebody will come on the show, and Howard makes, especially somebody who's nervous to come on the show, and then they finish, and they had a great time. And then Howard is very nice during the commercials. He says, hey, thank you so much for coming. And they go, uh, you know, they go, oh, we had a great time. And then one of the things Howard does all the time that kills me, uh, he goes, you know, you got, you got to come back again. And he doesn't need to say that. <laughs> because I, sometimes as he's saying it, I clearly know they'll never come back again. But he makes people feel really comfortable. And then I know that there's people that leave here, and they think that they have connected with Howard. A lot of times, too, it has, to, it has to do with the fact that Howard's the bigger celebrity. Yeah. So if a, if a lesser celebrity connects with a bigger celebrity, you feel a bond there. Yeah, to I'm totally. Like, I get to talk to a lot of you know celebrity type people, and I remember every word I said to somebody. I That's like, right. You know, like I, you know, and I, but you can't assume that they remember it. And uh, the other thing is, you know, like he's got a great thing. He comes on the air. He's great on the show. Howard clearly likes him on the air. You know, it, 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 that, that's his bond. Yeah, I, I, and I'll tell you, you know, I, Howard has told a lot of people, has been made every, he makes sure everybody leaves here feeling, com feeling comfortable. And he said to me, dude, you got the hardest job because, you know, he'll meet people in public and he'll go, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah no problem. He'll call Gary and then <laughs> I got to do this, you know, the shitty work. Yeah, yeah the bad you hand me the message to call him. But, 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 but uh, it's, it's a testament to Howard. Are you how saying you do the <laughs> shitty work, Jason? Was that, that comment right depends, there? It depends on the level of the celebrity. Gary used to call me the uh, angel of death. <laughs> I, I give, but Jason gets to do like people you've never heard of. I, 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 like yeah, I'll take Richard Jenny. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> may he, that may was he, no, no. That was different. <laughs> may he rest in peace. By the way, Richard Jenny was not the lowest celebrity. <laughs> it would just. It had gotten to the point where I couldn't figure out any different ways to say no. I love Jay this story. <laughs> Jason has turned bright red. Your face matches your T-shirt right now. That's oh. the greatest story. I killed Richard Jenny. That's how I see it anyway. Jason said no to Richard Jenny like two nights before he took his own life, which is really sad. Which and is really tragic. If Jason is <laughs> dancing on his grave no, and he's cracking up. No, no, I feel bad, obviously. But the whole, like, when you tell the story, because he pretended not to be him on the phone. He, and then, I... <laughs> Yeah, there's a whole thing going on. Jason did hysterics over someone who killed himself two days later. You're a sick mother, Jason. No, listen, it's sad that he killed himself. He seemed like a oh, nice guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but a guy, he's like, I can't deal with him anymore. you got to call him back. I said, I said Jason, you got to call because I, I can't. I've run out of ways to say no without embarrassing both of us. So the message was from a Mrs. somebody, Mrs. Smith, on behalf of Richard Jenny. So I call back, and a, and a guy answers the phone, and I go, is Mrs. Smith there? And he goes, no. And I go, what's well, this, Jason, from the Howard Stern Show? Um, can I leave a message? He goes, from the Stern Show? And I go, yeah, he goes, it's Richard. This is Richard Jenny. So then I go, oh, well, you know, sorry to say we're passing on you for now. We're, we're overbooked, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, wow, Howard's just done with me, isn't he? Just, it's over, right? And I go, 
No, no, it's just, you know, we love you, but we're just, you know, we're full. And then a day later, he shot himself. <laughs> and the humor you find in this is Mrs. Smith was a character. As the years have gone on, I found the humor in this situation. See, that, that to me becomes more the weird, the weird thing. Like, uh, remember in the movie uh, uh, The Big Chill? And uh, they go. The, the guy dies at the beginning. You know, kills himself at the beginning of the movie. And they're in the car, and they go, uh, "Oh, he called me. I never called him back." And the guy goes, "Oh, I'm sure that's why he killed himself." Yeah, right, right. Everybody who had any contact right. with that person for a week before is sure they're the catalyst for what happened. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But I mean, listen, suicide is very serious, and people shouldn't, you know, seek help if you're depressed. If you missed it, if you missed it, here's Drive how. Responsibly. <laughs> here's how Greg and Howard came to a the phone when I call. came to a solution. I offered you the day after this happened. I said, "Look, let me print that rant, and it's perfect. Oh, it shows." It okay, shows I'm you. okay with that. Jesus Christ. You I'm think you could have said that six weeks ago? I didn't realize that was an option. It, your news team told you it was an option. I here's, have a cut. Here's you can take all my rants. Here's you what get, I want you to do. Okay, you get now mad I've at got... me because I don't listen to every show. You don't listen to your own fucking news team. I don't. All right, listen to me. All right, now I'm going to work out a solution. Listen to me. Yeah. Would you collect... I'll have my guys collect every rant I made mm-hmm. about you and the stupid yeah. forward. Why is it stupid? <laughs> it's stupid because because what does it mean, really? I mean, what am I going to write? I, I, I mean, listen, I like you. What am I going to tell you? I think you're a funny guy. I don't know you that well. I'm your mentor. I don't even know you. It's a way of handling Greg, I guess. Rob in Alabama, you're on the wrap-up.